The beginning of the Jurassic was a time of development for the world of the dinosaurs. In this time period, new big forms of carnivorous dinosaurs were only first appearing across the world of the Mesozoic. If someone were to ask me, Atrix, what is your favorite dinosaur? My answer right now would be a dinosaur from this time, known as Dilophosaurus weatherelli. Its name means two ridged lizard, which is a reference to its iconic double crests which sit atop its head. New fossils have been discovered of Dilophosaurus last year, which has given us a new insight into its world in biology. Its anatomy was built for a dominant predator niche and it represents a part of an early lineage of meat-eating dinosaurs. This makes Dilophosaurus especially important for our fossil record and teaches paleontologists about what a time it was like then, at the birth of the beast foot. Why did it have its crests? What made it such a dominant predator? What was its world like? How much do scientists know about the two-ridged lizard? Hello, my name is Atrix guardian of the natural order, and I'm here to answer those questions. This is Dilophosaurus, an early apex predator. In the summer of 1942, Fossil hunters in Arizona were hard at work in the ground during their annual field season. Sam Wells and Charlie Camp both ran their own operations together in their respective sites until fate met them both. Camp introduced Wells to a trader known as Richard Curley when he went back to California, and Curley introduced Wells to a Navajo man known as Jesse Williams. Williams then revealed to Wells that he'd found big dinosaur remains near a known dinosaur trackway. With the help of excavators Bill Rush and Ed Cott, they opened the quarry containing three individuals and extracted the remains in about 10 days, bringing them back to California. These remains of the three individual dinosaurs were damaged by erosion, however, were enough to still identify it took two years under the guidance of a Dr. Wan Langston to clean and reconstruct it. In 1954, the remains were then finally classified as Megalosaurus weatherelli, and that was a closed case. Until 10 years later, when a fourth skeleton was found south of a geological formation known as the Cayenta Formation. The remains were then uncovered and taken back to California like the others, and in cleaning the fossils, they discovered something remarkable. The dinosaur they were uncovering had two crusts on top of its head, which made its genus reclassified to a new name, Dilophosaurus. Thus, the two-ridged lizard was born, and later on in time, teams from the University of Texas uncovered more fossils of Dilophosaurus. Over 80 years, fossil hunters have uncovered more remains of Dilophosaurus, captivating paleontologists. It too also captivated pop culture with its appearance as a hybrid dinosaur created by InGen, the fictional company responsible for creating the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. They gave it strange features for theater goers to witness, such as a structure around its neck more similar to that of a frilled lizard and the ability to spit venom. However, the true biology of this giant early Jurassic killer was much more terrifying in life and has only been truly understood very recently. Dilophosaurus itself was one of the biggest carnivorous dinosaurs to have roamed the earth during the early Jurassic, which was a part of a time period that occurred from 201 to 174 million years ago. Dilophosaurus itself aged around 190 million years ago and was a force to be reckoned with in its range of North America. The biggest can grow up to around 20 feet and has many features which can give us clues to what ecological role it had in, in its environment. Dilophosaurus 
was what paleontologists call a non avrostrin neotheropod. The classification makes Dilophosaurus more separate from such famous meat-eating dinosaurs like Ceratosaurus and Allosaurus that would appear later in the Jurassic, and Dilophosaurus predates ancestors to those dinosaurs. Dilophosaurus itself was a neotheropod, a type of theropod that survived a mass extinction event known as the Triassic-Jurassic Extinction Event. This event wiped out 76% of all marine and terrestrial species, allowing the dinosaurs to become the new dominant land animals. Dilophosaurus was closely related to two other theropods under its new classification. These two other theropods lived in the late Triassic and early Jurassic, and they were the South American Zupasaurus and the Antarctican Cryolophosaurus. These three dinosaurs represent some of the earliest dominant meat eaters in the Mesozoic era. In Dilophosaurus' case, its increase in body size mainly comes from its role with macropredation in its environment. Overall, its anatomy shows how it was able to live off such a niche. Starting at the head, Dilophosaurus has its iconic double crest, which is able to grow very large. The crest is made up of a bony keratinous material, which was most likely used for species recognition. Reproduction and sexual display was a very important factor in the time of the dinosaurs, in order to ensure overall survival of a species population. This display behavior is also very similar in birds today, and is comparable to the modern day hornbill. The teeth of Dilophosaurus are serrated, which allow it to carve and bite into flesh effortlessly. It had a distinct notch too at the front of the skull, which was originally hypothesized as an adaptation for catching fish. This was further perpetuated by the idea that Dilophosaurus had a weak bite. However, this was disproven in time with more remains from the Kayenta formation. Moving down the robust and muscular body, we come to a pair of strong clawed arms. These were attached to a bipedal horizontal body and were most likely used for pinning small prey down. Moreover, its skeleton has also found to have had pneumatized bones, which is a feature in some predatory dinosaurs. These bones would house chambers in the skeleton, which is where air sacs would be held. This system of air sacs are extensive throughout the skeleton, and this mixed with a bipedal stance reveals an active lifestyle of macropredation. Dilophosaurus lived with other dinosaurs in Arizona, as the biggest known land animal from North America at this time. This included smaller carnivores Cayenta venator and Coelophysis, along with a 10 to 13 foot basal sauropodomorph known as Sarasaurus. Another dinosaur present in the Cayenta formation was an armored dinosaur known as Cutellosaurus, which represents one of the earliest armored dinosaurs paleontologists know of. Other animals outside of the dinosaurs included a pterosaur known as Ramphion, and three species of herbivorous mammal-like animals known as Tritylodonts. These species are Dinobitodon, Cayentotherium, and a species of Oligokyphus. Frogs and turtles have also been uncovered from the Cayenta formation, which are the genuses Procellarius and Cayentochelys. These animals all lived in an environment that was seasonal, mostly dominated by rivers and streams within a floodplain. This can be inferred from the extinct wildlife found in the formation, along with the evidence of tracks from dinosaurs, which signifies the existence of ponds and lakes within the floodplain. The seasons that would make up the area would be wet or arid and dry. Dilophosaurus was much bigger than most of the animals in its ecosystem, proving absolutely that it was an apex predator within its habitat, able to hunt, ambush, pin, and kill prey items whenever it needed to sedate its hunger to survive. This is accomplished from utilizing its powerful adaptations within its anatomy, allowing it to occupy a niche of macro predation. Thus, 
making Dilophosaurus one of the earliest examples of domination from the reign of the dinosaurs during the Mesozoic. Thanks for watching.